Thus I decided to rework my Deep Impact video. He was the first memorable horse I posted on this channel. I think I can explain it better than I did then. Before we begin, let's start with some Japanese snacks. Deep Impact is a male horse born in 2002. His father is Sunday Silence and his mother is Wind in her hair. Sunday Silence is a great stallion that needs no explanation. He produced a very large number of grade 1 winners, of which Deep Impact became a prime example. Wind in her hair's main home was England, where she won three races, including one grade 1 race. After she retired, she was a broodmare in the US, but was later imported to Japan. In 1998, a female horse named Lady Blonde was born in the US and imported to Japan, where she won five of six races at sprint distances. Wind in her hair was imported to Japan, crossed with Sunday Silence, and a male horse named Black Tide was born. This Black Tide is a year older brother to Deep Impact and has the exact same pedigree. He had a good run, winning the Spring Stakes, a trial for the 2004 Classic Race, but then he was injured and had to take a long layoff. Now, back to Deep Impact. He was not a big horse. When he was zero years old, Mr. Mosto Kaneko purchased him for 70 million yen at a select sale. Mr. Kaneko is the owner of a very large number of famous horses in recent years in Japanese horse racing. He said. I felt like I was being sucked into his eyes. Mr. Kaneko was so struck by the sparkle in this horse's eyes. He then named the horse Deep Impact with the hope that it would become a horse that would impact many people in the same way. Deep Impact was then moved to Northern Farm for training, where his high flexibility was praised by the ranch manager, but on the other hand, his ineffectiveness and small size were pointed out. In September 2004, Deep Impact moved to the training center. By this time, his brother Black Tide was already injured and on an extended leave of absence. When the staff saw Deep Impact for the first time, they thought he might be a female horse and looked down his crotch. Deep Impact was timed on the hill for the first time in October. On the 800 meter hill course, the trainer instructed him to run in 58 to 59 seconds, but his time was a whopping 54 seconds. So the trainer checked to see if Deep Impact was very tired but he was not sweating at all and looked perfectly fine. Because of this, the staff felt that Deep Impact was no ordinary horse. Training went well, and Deep Impact's debut race was set for December 2004. His main jockey was decided to be Yutaka Take. They will run together in every race until Deep Impact's retirement. The race was held on December 19th at the Hanshin Race Course, 2000 meters. Before the race, Yutaka Take was told by his trainer not to win too spectacularly. This statement was due to concern that Deep Impact's stamina would be depleted. Deep Impact, however, was in fourth place and lined up with the leader on the exit of the final turn, and by the final stretch, he had opened a gap on the rest of the field, winning easily by four lengths. I would say this win of his was spectacular. However, Deep Impact did not look tired at all after the race, so there was no need to worry. Deep Impact's next race was the Wakakoma Stakes in January 2005. Here, he lived up to his name, racing to make a deep impression on the crowd. The race was slightly fast-paced, with a wide gap from the front to the rear. 
At the final turn, he was still about 10 lengths behind the leader. However, as they entered the final stretch, Deep Impact quickly accelerated and quickly overtook all the horses to take the lead. The live announcer also shouted excitedly, he's strong, too strong. And in the end, Deep Impact won easily by five lengths. His overwhelming strength was such that people said he was certain to win the Triple Crown. This is despite the fact that he has only won a mere open class race. The Triple Crown race series starts with the Satsuki Show in April, but he competed in the Grade 2 Yayoi Show before that. The purpose of this entry would have been the same course as Satsuki Show, to give him his first experience of long distance transportation, and to race against strong opponents in Grade 2 race. In this race, Deep Impact seemed to struggle for the first time. However, he may have only appeared to have struggled, but not really. He beat Admire Japan by the slimmest of margins, by a neck, but has yet to be whipped once. In other words, he could be considered to have won by a narrow margin with still more power left over. And with all three races won, he was ready for the day of the Satsuki Show. He was overwhelmingly favored, with odds of 1.3 for a single winner and 63% support for a single winner. This is the second highest in the history of Satsuki Show. Deep Impact tripped just after the start and Yutaka Take almost fell off his horse. This left them chasing last, about four lengths behind the other horses. But on the third corner he moved up to the middle of the pack. Then, on the final turn, Deep Impact was whipped for the first time and accelerated further, taking the lead midway down the final stretch. He continued on to finish comfortably in first place, two lengths ahead of the second place finisher, six cents. Thus he remained undefeated and won his first crown. Yutaka Take held his index finger high in the sky during a commemorative photo after his victory. This is the same performance that Simbali Rudolph and Okabe did in 1984. Simbali Rudolph became the Triple Crown winner. In other words, Yutaka Take declared that he would win the Triple Crown in the same way. And May 29th was Derby Day. It was Deep Impact's first time on a left-handed course, but his odds of 1.1 to win and 73.4% single favorite rating were the highest ever. He again got off to a slow start and ended up in third position from the back. He stayed put on the inside track, but accelerated on the fourth turn and quickly gained position through the outside. In the final stretch, he took the lead 200 meters from the finish line. From there, the gap kept getting wider and wider, and he won the double crown with a convincing five-length victory over runner-up Inti Raimi. The race time was 2 minutes 23.3 seconds, the same as the new record set the previous year. He was the sixth horse in history to win the double crown without losing a race, and the first since Mihano Bourbon in 1992. During a commemorative photo after his victory, Yutaka Take held up two fingers to the sky to show that he had won the double crown. After this derby victory, the media began calling Deep Impact a hero. Deep Impact moved to the cooler Sapporo racecourse during the summer to continue training. He then returned to the Rideau Training Center in September. The last race of the Triple Crown is the Kika Show in October, but it is common to run a trial race before that. Deep Impact competed in the Grade 2 Kobe Shinbun Cup in September. The number of spectators who came to the Hanshin Racecourse that day to see Deep Impact was up 47% from the previous year, indicating the high level of interest in him. 
Deep impact, as usual, was late at the start and had to settle for second from last. He moved to the outside in the third corner. He then accelerated and caught the leading group at once. Entering the final stretch, he was already on his way to the front of the pack. He widened the gap from there to the rest of the field. Sixth Sense was chasing hard, but Deep Impact had enough time to slow his speed at the end. His time of 1 minute 58.4 seconds was a new record and a convincing victory. Then on October 23rd, the day of Kikasho's race. At the Oda Racecourse, more than 10,000 people lined up before the gates opened, and more than 800 of them had stayed up all night from the day before. In the end, 136,701 people visited the racetrack that day, 82% more than the previous year. Deep Impact's single win ticket had odds of 1.0, which meant that it returned the same amount of money as it would have if it had won. Deep Impact was also a smart horse. Kick a show is 3,000 meters, so the horses competing will run two laps of the course. Deep Impact may have remembered the finishing position of this course, and tried to accelerate himself around the final stretch from the fourth turn of the first lap. Yutaka Take desperately tried to calm him down by putting Deep Impact on the inside track. After crossing the finish line on the first lap, Deep Impact finally seemed to understand and seemed to come to terms with his jockey. Deep Impact settled down and Yutaka Take took a position with no horses around him so that he could move at any time. And he approached the leading pack in the fourth corner as he always does. When they entered the final stretch, the leader was Admire Japan, six or seven lengths ahead of Deep Impact. Deep Impact caught Admire Japan with 200 meters to go. And he won the race with a lead of two lengths. So far he has won seven races in seven races. He was the first horse to win the Triple Crown in 11 years since Narita Bryan, and the first undefeated horse to win the Triple Crown in 21 years since Simbali Rudolph. At this point, Yutaka Take finally raised three fingers high in the sky to show that he had achieved the Triple Crown. Deep Impact was scheduled to run only one more race before the end of the year, and that was decided to be the Arima Kinen. It was his first time facing horses outside his own age group. Here, something unexpected happened for the fans. As usual, Deep Impact was the favorite, and in good form, moved up a position on the final turn. He chased furiously down the final stretch, but was unable to catch Hart's cry, who had broken away earlier, and unexpectedly finished second. Here he suffered his first defeat. Fans came to the racetrack 30% more than the previous year, but their cheers turned to size. Deep Impact, however, deservedly received great recognition and was named Horse of the Year and Best Three-Year-Old Male Horse of the Year. And at the time of the award ceremony, the owner, Mr. Kaneko, said that he wanted Deep Impact to try European races in the summer. In 2006, Deep Impact's first race was the Hanshin Grand Prize. He chose this race as his trial race with the big spring title, Tenno Show Spring, as his target. Even in this race, which is run over the same 3,000 meters as the Kika Show, there were concerns about Deep Impact's ability to keep pace with the field, as he would have to run two laps around the Hanshin course. This concern proved to be true, as he tried to accelerate himself from around the fourth turn of the first lap until he passed the finish line, but Yutaka Take frantically tried to calm him down. Then, in the second lap, Deep Impact regained its composure. Then, at the third turn, with about 1,000 meters to go to the finish line, Deep Impact naturally moved up a position. 
By the time he entered the final stretch, he was already in the lead. He opened the lead with ease. Deep Impact finished with enough time to slow down at the end and beat second place Tokai Trick by three lengths. And April 30th is Tenno Show Spring Day. Despite being a grade 1 race, Deep Impact's odds of winning a single race were a whopping 1.1. He got off to a slow start as usual. He was in no hurry, taking up a position in the rear and this time he broke and chased well. There was no significant movement in the race during the race, and just past the 1000 meter mark, Deep Impact began a long spurt. The third corner of this Kyoto course has a hill to climb and descend, and the theory is that this hill should be run slowly. Otherwise, ordinary horses will exhaust their stamina and are said to be unable to win. Deep Impact, however, ignored this theory and went for a long spurt. He took the letterly in the fourth turn and further widened the gap on the rest of the field in the final stretch. Lincoln followed him, but the gap was not closing. In the end, Deep Impact did not stall and won in a new record time by three and a half lengths. Lincoln was no weak horse, and his time was also faster than the conventional record time. If I had to pick Deep Impact's best race, I would choose this Tenno Show Spring. I think it's a really strong win. He was so strong that a Lincoln jockey commented, Lincoln was born in the wrong era. A week after the race, the trainer announced the plan for future runs. The plan for Deep Impact's European challenge was that his goal would be the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe, and that he would run the Takarazu Kakinen in Japan before going to Europe. In the Takarazu Kakinen at Kyoto Racecourse, he advanced from his usual position at the rear of the field through the outside on the final turn. In the final stretch, he easily overtook Narita Century, who was in front of him, to win by four lengths. It was a perfect race for him before his departure for Europe. In addition, Deep Impact surpassed the 1 billion yen mark in prize money earned in this race. In France, it is mandatory to have a microchip implanted for individual identification, so Deep Impact was microchipped in Japan and then headed to France. Microchips were introduced in Japan for horses born in the following year, 2007. Deep Impact arrived in France on August 9. Deep Impact was carefully cared for locally, including the use of feed brought from Japan. He was also in good shape in training, overtaking and finishing ahead of the local lead horse. Art de Triomphe Day was October 1st. His rivals included the previous year's champion, Hurricane Run, and the Breeders' Cup turf winner, Sirocco. Deep Impact once took the lead, but was overtaken midway by Rail Lincoln Pride and ended up finishing third. This defeat of his disappointed Japanese fans, but there was something even worse. During post-race testing, Deep Impact's body was found to contain the banned substance Epitropium, which led to his disqualification. But this was, of course, unintentional. Deep Impact began coughing, so a local veterinarian treated him with Epitropium inhalation between September 21st and 25th. At that time, Deep Impact went wild, and the apotropium chemical was scattered and adhered to hay and other items in the stalls. It was then speculated that Deep Impact had eaten the hay from the day before to the day of the race, resulting in residual apotropium until the post-race examination. The official announcement of the disqualification from the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe was made on November 16. It was more than a month after Deep Impact had returned home. Before that announcement was made, on October 11, the trainer announced that Deep Impact would be retired by the end of the year. A syndicate totaling 5.1 billion yen was then set up and he was to become a stallion. 
Deep Impact's race schedule after returning to Japan was originally scheduled for the Tenno Show Autumn in October, but was changed to the Japan Cup, which is held one month after the Tenno Show Autumn, because it was soon after his return to Japan. In the Japan Cup, he had a rematch with Hearts Cry. Hearts Cry was the only horse in Japan to beat Deep Impact in the previous year's Arima Kinen, but he then flew to Dubai, where he won the Dubai Shima Classic. So I think he was no fluke at Arima Kinen and won on merit. For Deep Impact, who was hit by an unexpected accident on his way to Europe, this is a race he cannot afford to lose. In all, only 11 horses competed in the Japan Cup that year. The race developed at a slow pace. Therefore, the pace was unfavorable for horses chasing from behind, but Deep Impact took the last position on the road. Then, on the final stretch, he went through the outside and quickly overtook the horse in front of him. He won by two lengths over the second place finisher, Dream Passport. Even Yutaka Take seemed relieved at this victory. Note that Hart's cry was defeated by a 10th place finish due to asthma. Deep Impact went into Arima Kinen as the overwhelming favorite, receiving nearly 120,000 votes in the fan ballot. For him, this is his retirement race. He took his usual position at the rear of the field and chased. Accelerating through the outside at the fourth corner, he quickly moved up a position. As always, this overwhelming acceleration and speed are his greatest weapons. By the time he rounded the corner and entered the final stretch, he was already in line with the lead pack, and from there he opened a gap on the rest of the pack. His running was described as flying rather than running. Deep Impact's speed was controlled just before the finish line, but he was a convincing winner by three lengths over Pop Rock. Yutaka Take commented on the race, saying it was the best race he had ever run. Deep Impact is now regrettably retired. His total is 12 wins in 14 races, including 7 Grade 1 wins. At the time, only Simbali Rudolph and TM Operato had won seven grade one races, a major record, and Deep Impact was the third horse to do so. Deep Impact's winnings exceeded 1.45 billion yen, placing it in second place behind TM Operato. Deep Impact entered Stallion Life in 2007. The initial stud fee was 12 million yen. This was the highest level of money available at the time. However, one foal after another became very successful, and in the blink of an eye, Deep Impact's value as a stallion was further enhanced. Eventually his stud fee amounted to 40 million yen. There are too many grade 1 winners by Deep Impact to introduce. For this reason, I will present a limited number of representative pieces from among them. First, his first grade one winner as a foal was Marcelina. She won the 2011 Oka Show. In 2012, Gentil Don achieved the Triple Tiara. She went on to win a total of seven grade one races, including the Japan Cup, the first time for a three year old filly, and was a great success. Gran Allegria reigned as queen in 2019 to 2020 with six grade one wins, mostly in short distance races. Also in 2020, Contrail achieved the same feat as his father by going undefeated and winning the Triple Crown. Furthermore, his foals have been very successful overseas, especially Snowfall. Snowfall won the British Oaks by an impressive 16 lengths and also won the Irish Oaks. Although it is impossible to introduce them all, there are about 50 grade 1 race winners today, just from horses that have run in Japan. Deep Impact's foals have been mainly successful on turf courses, producing good results in any race from short to long distances. And they have conquered almost all the major grade 1 titles. 
it is hard to find a stallion with such a horrendously good record. Deep Impact's father, Sunday Silence, was also a very successful stallion that changed the course of history, and Deep Impact is another great success of the same level. But the sad news was sudden. In 2019, Deep Impact was found to have a fractured cervical vertebrae and was euthanized as recovery was not expected. He was only 17 years old, and his death was regrettably early. As of 2022, the foals he bequeathed are still active, and his sire and sire's successors are expected to continue to develop their lineage. That's all for this time. If you want to know more about Japanese horses, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.